welcome to this new video about me uh, but first i have a nice cappuccino with some oat milk super super delicious and um i suggest you get a drink yourself um i wanted to ask you if you want to subscribe to my channel if you like this content leave a comment or like it really feels very awkward to say it but it really helps me to spread the content i want to tell a bit more about me i am not a full-time artist i do art as a hobby uh, i do it in my spare time whenever i have some free time i um, get my sketchbook i get all of my different art supplies and i just have fun i've been making art for about i think two years now so it's not that long um, and I started doing it when I was locked up at home as a lot of we all were uh, we all had to stay at home and I just finished my studies and I started working and I had more uh, spare time in the evenings and more time with myself and I've always been a creative person I'm a social designer so also in my work I um, do I have a creative job, uh, but not a visual job. And I really like to create stuff that are visual, visual stories, um, color palettes, all that good stuff. Uh, so in my spare time, I really enjoy making art. Um, I mostly work in watercolor. I also really enjoy gouache. And recently I started using flash paints, uh, which I also enjoy using. And I like to work mixed media, so on top of the watercolors, I use colored pencils, different types of crayons and pastels. And I tend to create nature-inspired uh, pieces. It can be flowers, landscapes, animals. I also do some character design, but not very good in it yet, I think. So. And my big dream when it comes to illustration is to one day make my own um, illustration uh, children's book. Uh, my mother is a teacher and she owns a lot of beautiful children children books. And I've I grown up loving children books. So I thought it would be amazing if one day I could hand over my uh, an art book that I made. Um, what brings me to some of the content in this video. Uh, in this video, I'll share some art related stuff as usual. I shared some art haul, some new things that I got, but I also wanted to talk a bit about some books that I uh, got. Another one of my hobbies next to um, art and visual, making visual things is uh, going to the thrift store, buying stuff secondhand. I'm quite a collector, I have to admit. <laughs> mm. So I really enjoy going to the thrift store, treasure hunting, uh, finding beautiful stuff to um, create my surroundings. At the moment, I'm sitting in our living room behind my desk and behind me is the kitchen and then here there are some drawers where I store all of my art stuff. Yeah, I really wanted to share a bit more about me, about what I do day to day. I, so I work, but in my spare time I love to create art, going to the thrift store, being outside. Um, so in these videos you'll see a collection of how I sort of spent my creative life. It is not a secret, Sandy Hayser is definitely one of my, if not my favorite YouTuber. I really love her content and every time I start watching her videos, I get this urge inside of me to 
start creating as well. And I think that is the best effect an art YouTuber can create for you. Um, because then you can create together and it's like painting with a friend. Um, and I don't really have a lot of friends that are also creatives. I've been doing art for two years now. Uh, and I started during uh, the lockdown. So maybe I've never went to art school or any fancy place like that. So maybe in about um, some, maybe someday I could go to an event to meet like-minded people. But um, being on the internet also, it can be a very fun place to sort of meet like-minded people, creatives like you. And Sandy Hayster is a professional artist. I'm not, I'm just someone who really loves to create. But in her latest videos, she went on this really cute camping trip. And in her videos, she also shared some books that she got at the thrift store. Now in some videos ago, maybe even one of my first videos, I uh, told that I love to collect second-hand books and I thought it would be a good idea to share with you how many beautiful books you can find at the art store now that I'm looking at this aisle actually one of the books isn't from the thrift store I got it as a present from my mother so I'll tell you which book it is but I am a collector a treasure hunter um, who really loves books everything visual beautiful and this when you look at this like the colors that is just something that i it just inspires me so much books is such a fun visual um outlet um because it's a combination of um graphic design art um even typography and uh, storytelling and it's just so many um, things in one uh, creation and really love um, art, um, art books. So I'll share some of my favorite books that I got at the thrift store and I want to add one more. Here in the Netherlands, there are a lot of great second-hand bookstores, but also a lot of thrift stores. Um, and it's always fun to flip through the uh, book section to have a scroll around to see what's in stock. It's the element of surprise that I really enjoy. This book is beautiful. Een land vol vee, which means... A land filled with uh, farm animals. Let me show you what's inside of this book. This is a pamphlet for some sort of um, activity that you could sign up for. Which I thought was so funny that it was inside this book. So I wanted to keep it safe inside here. It still feels quite new and beautiful. Now inside this book... You have a combination of uh, these animals, so uh, cows, horses, sheep, goats, pigs, chickens, and du um, ducks and ducks. So these are the animals that are inside this book, and then you have all of the type of animals. Also pictures, the type. This one has longer hair, which is so cute. And there's also some information about cows, but for me it's only about um, the pictures. It's not really about the text. It doesn't really <laughs> matter to me. Um, then you can see, and then we have horses. Also, it starts off with a bit of art about horses, more art, beautiful artwork. And then again, we have the illustrations like this. And then sheep. I love painting sheep. I think sheep are so fun. 
Um, sometimes when I go outside walking here, there is a group of sheep, and it instantly makes makes my day. Uh, goats and pigs, also really amazing animals. They are so smart. Yeah, and then we have chickens. So cute art. So very inspiring book to um, grab and do some studies. So I said I really like to paint animals. I have a more of an illustration style, but it helps to understand how to make a realistic chicken to translate that to a more illustrative one. So you can simplify it, but still get the proportions. Maybe right, but you know how to create a chicken. Then we have Alex de Jonge Jongleur. Alex the Young Juggler. So here you have him. So cute, this little dog. And then have the inside. And it's like a almost like a graphic novel or a strip. And the colors are so beautiful, but also the um, design of the persons like this. Look at the, the use of color to create that. Oh, you know, something dangerous, dangerous is happening here. So really, really beautiful, beautiful book. Look at this and also the colors do. But I also really like the subject of the circus vibes and beautiful book got this for sometimes it's still inside of here no it's not probably like one euro you can get books quite cheap and then we have this Talus Lautrec one euro again and I really love look at this the color use so so beautiful the the movement the texture here then this is the one book that i didn't get second hand and it's a beautiful book and fun fact um this book is illustrated by i need to enzo perez labourdetta hope i pronounced that right but he was the winner here in the Netherlands of uh, Heel Holland Pact, which is the Dutch version of the Great British Bake Off. So he actually won Heel Holland Pact, the Great British Bake Off here in the Netherlands. And his color use is just, I mean, what? <laughs> what? Love love his use of color and i love that every page has a new color story i mean these flowers and the green and the the birds it's just so beautifully illustrated I mean look this look at this Dreams of Orients. Then I have this book. Also got this second hand. The pricing isn't in here, but this is the cutest book to gift someone as a present. Um, have another sip of coffee. Mm. Um, in this book, the illustrator made a... Um, page for every um, age so let me look up my age oh I'm 24 <laughs> and here it says never has anyone been so close so beautiful illustration and some people in the shower um, three for the first time you tell someone everything about yourself 50 there are two big forces in life there 
are you being pushed or are you being pulled? So you're in the middle. 91. It's so nice to have an old friend. So this is the book. And what I really enjoy using this book for um, is the poses. So in every, there are a lot of interesting poses in this book. Like someone is laying down or people are walking or people are jumping or dancing. All sorts of poses in this book. And um, the bodies are very simplified. So it's a great way to um, study this book. And most expensive book um, out of all of the books here uh, that are secondhand. I think I paid 5 euros for this, which is still a steal. Uh, and the book is radioactive. And it's about uh, Mary and Perry Curry. A tale of love and fallout and it's about this um lady uh who is a scientist and this is this is not your typical um book this is a very very this is like a piece of art like these landscapes are very uh nice simplified landscapes can always be inspiring so um, I love the concept of the whole book, um, but also the pages themselves to inspire you. So, and I, th I think some of these books, like this book and this book, you can still probably find somewhere. This is an older book. And this is also English. I'm not sure if only the title is English. No, the inside is also English. Um, and this is a very fun book called F Faces. And I didn't know. It's actually a book from New York. So it's an American book. Um, and it has the most fun collection of all sorts of faces. So different faces like unique faces playing with faces um, like these optical illusions isn't that amazing um, and here are some more so it's a very very fun book um, to just flip through get inspired by uh, playing with faces. Oh, this one. <laughs> this one is quite creepy. <laughs> um, and I got this book, uh, maybe more than five years ago. And I think it's a really, really fun book to grab and use for, um, grab character design and illustrative faces. Now the last book, I actually have a lot of these type of books, but I thought I'd just pick one. Um, in almost every art store you can find books like this. This is a book that is filled with nature stuff. And yeah, you can find illustrations. This page is actually quite fun to use for um, different mutts and um, butterflies. I really like it when I see it like this, but butterflies can get be, can look easily very girly and not really into very girly art. But here you have more butterflies, then you have beautiful birds, more birds, foxes and... Um, I really like the combination of pictures and illustrations. All sorts of um, landscapes as well. So you could see this as a old uh, school book about nature. 
so yeah just a collection of some of the books that i have i have quite a lot of books and i'm sure i will i won't stop collecting them because i just love to go to thrift stores collecting books i just get so inspired by physical visual beauty i just had the idea to make a butterfly in my sketchbook inspired by the books um and uh when i was younger at school we used to paint like um butterflies using one page and then doing this and then you would have a, a symmetrical butterfly so that is what i'm going to do i got my flesh paints here i just going to pick up some colors and then create some butterflies i also have this black sketchbook uh, that i've got for from for quite some time but i never really do anything with it also want to try the butterfly on this paper It is Saturday night and I'm home alone and I'm breaking in this new uh, Royal Talent sketchbook. It is a A4. Oh, and I put down the date of when I'm starting. I am going to use this um, art piece as a reference. Here you can see this is in Dutch, but here you can see the name and the artist. This is a book from Thrift Store. And I'm going to use my jelly gouache, the big set. I've um, sprayed them with some water um, before I start. And I really like these paints for my sketchbook. I don't think that they are light fast. It's fun to work in your sketchbook because your sketchbook, <laughs> because in your sketchbook, it doesn't really matter if they're light fast or not. You have this great color selection to choose for. I'm using a paper, um, Bed for mixing this is just a cheap round from some sort of dollar store here in the netherlands the action this video i'm talking a lot about books i have this book and i use this painting as reference to create this big spread this is my art creation a four sketchbook so it's quite a big 
sketchbook. You can see it with my hand. Um, and I painted a... What is this? I don't know what it is. But this landscape, using this as a reference and obviously interpreting it into my own style. Um, I really like the texture here. Love that. I love that I, I'm, uh, I really like artists that use lines in their artworks. So I decided to experiment with that instead of drawing it in, leaving it open. Also experimenting here with openness to create some, I guess, air in the art piece. I would love the, this little area that I created with anil colors. I only used gouache colored pencils, anil colors, and one um, jelly roll pencil. I also love this church. Also like that the uh, lines of the pencil are not uh, really good. <laughs> And I really like that I did some extreme shadows. So I really love the shadow of this little house. I got a few new art supplies. I got this um, Creta color charcoal chip stick. As you can see, it is very, very messy. Uh, and this is just great for sketching. Other colors in olive green and earth, green earth. Beautiful colors. A new small sketchbook, which I'm making dirty now because I just touched the other things. And I started with the first page in the train. I did this in the train. I got a new big, as seen in the video before, a new big art creation sketchbook in this lilac color. I got three new colored pencils, two graphite tint colored pencils in the color aubergine and cool gray and one turquoise green uh, and it's a watercolor pencil. My first Darwin watercolor pencil. And it's always fun to pick up some new colored pencils colors. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!